Yep, guys, welcome back to the channel. Scott Lennox here. Thank you very much for clicking in. So, really cool trip for you today. We are going out on the Angler, fishing out of the Talbot Street Pier, right behind me. We're pulling out right now. Uh, we've got lots of questions about party boat fishing in Ocean City, Maryland. So today, that's what we're gonna do, all right? If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. These videos will pop up in your, in your stuff. And today it's bottom fishing for sea bass, flounder. They've been catching a couple of moon fish, some trigger fish, stuff like that. Uh, I've introduced myself to everybody down here in the back of the boat. They're all cool with being on film. So we're gonna have a great trip today, man. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Looks like we're, I'm talking flat, calm seas, man. We got a five to 10 knot little teeny breeze. Um, yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. So today will probably be the same. And then it starts blowing, of course, tomorrow through the weekend, all through next week. So I wanted to get out here and get something on. Uh, get something on the channel. So here we go, man, let's go. Angler with Captain Chris Mazurk and the crew. hearing the engines get pulled back engines getting pulled back on a party boat is always a good sign that means you're getting to the spot so we have arrived here at the spot captain chris just announced that we're going to be on the hook first meaning we're going to anchor fishing about 110 feet of water here outside the jack spot um, sea bass flounder on the menu might even see a couple of might see a bluefish probably not might see some of those um, moon fish look downs that kind of thing but we're about to get going, so let's do it. All right, before we get started here, I'll let you guys know what I'm using. I'm starting off with our Deadly Tackle Squidly rig here, but I've modified it just slightly. Modified it just slightly. So I'm going to use the white version. Uh, they all glow and have glow eyes. But what I did was I cut this thing back just a little bit. I cut the uh, I cut the top and bottom leader to about 10 inches long or so. Whereas they come, they're much longer than that, right? We're trying to attract flounder and stuff in the back bay, sometimes out here in the ocean, but comes the sea bass fishing. I want to see how this thing does with a little bit shorter leader on it. And on that, starting with the otter tails, baby. I really love that short curly. I'm gonna put that on there. I've got some uh, I've got some sand fleas left over. Sand fleas left over from fishing back there on the South Jetty. I'm gonna try some of this frozen shrimp that we had back there in the bay we were trying on the South Jetty, see if that works all right. And then the boat will provide clams for us. I've got some clams here ready to roll as well. This will be really good with those otter tails because it'll give it some scent. Uh, and then if the fish happens to pull the bait off, the otter tail will still be there. Maybe they'll come back and give it another hit. So there we go, getting ready to hit the first drop here on board the Angler, going on the anchor first, and we'll see what's up. Got a light crew today, only got about 20, uh, 20 other folks on here with us. Miss Donna, Miss Donna's right next door. This is my Angler buddy for the rest of the day, and she's probably gonna outfish everybody on this boat, just like my wife does. <laughs> Either way though, we're gonna have a good time. Here's your white flag. Oh, uh, there's the white flag. The mic brings me the white flag I can throw in the towel when I'm done. All right, here we go. First drop. Let's get it. You got any bites yet? Not yet. Damn. All right, Miss Donna's on. I'm on. Let's get one 13 inches, Donna. Yeah, I got one 13 inches. Donna, you go tuna chunking with that rod. Uh, this one is just to work, won't it? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that'll yes, do. There we go. Here we go. Nicely yes, sir. done. On the circle hook. Yes, sir. Hooked up right next to you, too. Good job, ma'am. Am I next? I would right think there. so. Oh, all day. Oh, all day. All day, yes, ma'am. Take them inside the bag. Inside the bag? Yep. There you go. I really want to do that. All right, I'll make you some strip bait with that, bud. Huh? I'll make you some strip bait with that. Yeah, oh, buddy. yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'll take them. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let me see that one, man. Nice. Nice fish, dude. Yeah, That's a beauty. Let that thing go. That's a pool contender right there. Did you get in the pool? Yeah. There we go. Nice one. Oh. My 
Not a keeper, but I'm on the board. All right, there we go. First fish for me. Little shorty female going back. Otter tail, flounder belly combo. I heard a net call over here. We got, let's go flounder. That's good, Mike. You got Yeah, on the bucktail. We're starting to call you flounder lady in the fishing report. <laughs> Thanks for proving me right. Yeah, buddy. My pleasure. Nice fish, man. Beautiful. It's a keeper. She's calling keeper from the get go. I love it. Told you I'd give you something. It's a keeper. <laughs> She's calling it's keeper. A keeper. I might be, my line might be in yours, though. No, it ain't. I'm, I'm just going to leave it alone. No, it ain't. Oh, that bottom one's nice. Ah. ah. Both of them are mine. Yeah. No, what is it? No, they're both yours. They're both yours. Good. Yeah. Mine, mine just ripped. All yes, right. ma'am. There we go. Look at them yeah. studs. Ah. Double header with the jumbo. I'm sure glad I picked sitting next to you, Donna. Nah, oh, look, I got, I got hooked up too. I'm sitting there filming Donna catch a good one, and I got bit real good. Yeah, that might be a cooler of a fish. Yeah. Let's check. Yeah. Oh, is it right side? Oh, yours is right. I'm oh, talking yeah. about mine. That's a good one. Whoa. All right, look at here. Yeah, first keeper in the box. Let's put this in the cooler and then I'll show y'all. Oh, Miss Miss Don is doing boom. <laughs> Donna, you're out fishing the mates. That's you're out a fishing everybody. Right there, dude. Oh yeah, beautiful it's fish. Sure got that little bit of uh, eye shadow going yep, on there. A little blue in the head. Big nice old mouth fish, there. Man. You gotta get me nice a fish. Oh, you're on there. <laughs> you're on there more than I am right now. What are you talking? That's a Donna show going on right now. <laughs> Ooh, let me sneak in. Whoa! Welcome to the party, sir. That'd be me. That's a stud. <laughs> that is a stud. Don, I got bad news for you. Don, you, you got a good pool, sir. You want to get in a fish pool? No, I wish oh, I had Oh, it always that. happens that way. I wish I had it now. That'd be a money fish right there. Always right. happens that yeah. way. Don't get in the fish pool, and that's what happens to you. Just my, just my luck. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Mike took a chance at it, man. We were just. Here, you want them? Yeah, go ahead, bud. Go ahead. No, I just knew they'd be there. So we, Sparty we, says, baby. we went by one of these uh, sea bass pots out here. Mike took a chance on it and put one of those sting lures on it and, oh, ca and cast it right out to the. Oh, cast it right out to the sea bass pot and had a mahi on right away as we were speeding by, but it came unglued. Look at that, Chris, a sea, sea bass on the squid tracks. There it is. First cast with this thing out here, sea bass fishing, and it catches a, uh, a throwback, but pretty cool. That's the, uh, that's the Nomad squid tracks. Okay. A little, <laughs> okay. little, bl little black sea bass. Pretty awesome. I don't think that's going to make it. Nope. Sweet. Alright, short little move. Made it to a spot a little further off the beach. Um, fishing in about hundred feet of water now on some natural bottom gonna go on the anchor again so let's see what's up yep. oh, I got you. Oh. thank you though Shorty. <laughs> what up, Steve? I saw you quietly up here reeling. Oh, all right. On the cooler. Quietly for a reason. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> quietly and not a keeper. Throwback quiet. Eh. Yeah, I don't think so. 
a little squid teaser. But we're catching. Did the trick. Put that big old glob of clam on there. Is he? Yep. Eh, it's close. It's close. Yeah, close enough is the key term there. Man, look at that. You wanna bleed them? Uh oh, what I got? I got quarter over here. That's got it. Yeah, buddy. 13, maybe in a quarter. Bingo! <laughs> Big glob of clam. Mm -hmm. And an otter tail. Yeah, bud. I'm going to your right down. That'll work. Yeah. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Yeah, yeah that's buddy. Good. That's, that's more like it. Too. Otter tail and a big old glob of clam <laughs> produced again. I hope this is all fish and not somebody's snagging somebody's line. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. we go that's the benefit of having that otter tail on there man i felt a couple of bites before yeah. that my clam was probably gone but the otter tail was still there was still so i kept there. on pecking at it yeah and uh that's another keeper for me beautiful yep. and because we're fighting fish like we are i lost my bottom hook look my bottom hook <laughs> broke you? off sure but i'm did. just catching with one so i don't want to take the time to switch yeah, it out uh, I'll get you. Yeah, I, I would just a little bit, but I'll get you. Same here. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. We found the flounder hole. Cheers. The non key yeah, flounder cheers. high there five. Pretty work. <laughs> the flounder high five. Yeah, he ate the, go the uh, otter tail. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Looking for, ooh, yeah. that's a male. <laughs> How can you tell it's a male? See all that white stuff? Where? All down the side. Where? Down here. Oh, all yeah. That. yeah. That's a male. Paralichthys dentatus, not 16 inches. Hey man, I'm starting to put some in the cooler now, buddy. <laughs> starting to put a couple in the cooler now. Look at that big old piece of clam, dude. That's it. Save my bait. Bingo. Thank you, brother. Did you get him in the net, Cap? I think so. I tried to lose it. Had to call Captain Chris into action. I think that'll She's make got it. another one. Ooh, all right. Uh, I'll shadow it, but there we go. Again. All right, guys, a little piece of advice if you're using conventional gear and you're a novice to this stuff, make sure you keep your thumb on the spool the entire way down. Okay? Oh, me, my, my. No, not, not you, not you. I'm talking to the camera now, Donna. Oh, you talking to the I'm talking camera. to the folks at home. Might not know what the hell's going on. Keep that thumb on there and just let it go down as slowly as you can because once ha what happens is once it hits the bottom, it's going to stop, but the spool's going to keep on spinning. And you're going to find out the hard way. That's why they call it a bird nest. There you go. All right, looks like probably our last stop of the day since we're anchoring. Uh, I got a little time left, but I uh, broke my rig off on that last drop. So, retied, now I'm going with green. We'll give the green squidly a shot. Green squidly, otter tail, and then also the other thing I'm doing is instead of a sinker, I'm gonna put this six ounce spro bucktail down on the bottom. So maybe a flounder down there, he'll like that six ounce spro bucktail with a gulp on it, but big old hunk of clam up here. Otter tail, let's get it, man, right before we quit. Sea bass on the clamage uh, again. Keeper? I think he is a keeper. I think he is a keeper. I didn't give him enough credit. 
Squidly man, paying the bills. Looking for 13. Oh. I can, I can put my off. Not 13. and a quarter. Nice flag. Come on, get in there. Flag oh, no, keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Oh, that's, 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 that's it right, right there. there. Yeah, let him stay keep him under the surface because the tension will keep him on the hook. Watch out, watch out, watch out. If you let him yep. splash, he'll come off. Alright, now swim him into the net. Swim him right in there. Perfect. There yeah, you brother. go. That's go a keeper. Look. That's how you do it. Yeah, I'll bend it down a little bit. Yeah. Let's look at this now. Nice fish, man. Thanks. Nice fish. Mike, 19 and what? 19 and 1 eighth. 19 and 8. Yes, and with the, with the couple of uh, fish that are in the fish pool that are bigger than that, that aren't in the fish pool, that might be taking the lead. I'm, I'm keeping names out of it so I don't get beat up when we get back to the dock. That's it. All right, man, that's it. Uh, Captain Chris just blew the whistle for the end of the day, man, but a good day here on the Angler. Um, some nice fish caught, man. I didn't catch any pool contenders, but got some really nice sea bass in the cooler going home this evening. And sea bass is one of my favorite fish to eat, so happy about that. I'm sure Kristen and Ryan will be stoked too. But some great fishing down the rail and got a couple of fish pool contenders back here. Real nice fishing next to Donna, but I think she might have got beat there at the end. I got beat. Still, you guys are in the same party, so that counts. There we go. Well, we'll get to this fish pool here in just a second, see who wins what. All right, now we're getting ready for the fish pool, and Jamar from DC caught that nice 19 plus inch flounder at the end there, so that's going on the, the scale first. It's like the uh, it's like the scales of justice, right? You tip them both ways to see what's going to be the heavier fish. There's a cantilever right in the middle. You put the fish on each side, and then obviously it pulls down the heavier side. So what he's going to do is he's going to put that 19 plus incher on one side, and then everybody else is going to show up and see who ends up the biggest. But I got a good feeling that Jamar is going to win this one because um, a couple of those fish weren't in the pool. Let's see what happens. Who's on the left side? Oh shoot! Yep. Try the other one. All right, Judy, fish number two. Nice try, but nice fish, man. Nice fish. Judy's who we've been calling Flounder Lady because she's on here. I recognize her from the fish report. She catches so many flounder on this boat and other boats. I've started to nickname her Flounder Lady because she's really, really good at it. Nice sea bass. No contest. Just a bit outside. Yeah. Morning, Steve. No matter who caught it. Yeah, that's uh, Jamar caught that. Right there at the end. Nice work. Nice work. 
There it is, man. Jamar wins the fish pool. 19 and a quarter inch flounder. Had a feeling that was gonna be the case just because those flounder are so much more dense than sea bass and trigger fish and stuff. So 180 bucks to Jamar from DC. Pretty work. swell pushing from that storm coming up from the south but uh, overall I'd call today's fishing I call it real decent man it was real decent um, I ended up with eight keeper sea bass some some good ones in there like 16 inches uh, so plenty of fillets for us to have dinner and even give a little bit away uh, Donna next door to me she had 10 or 12 one couple up in the front at 26 so there were some people that were close to a limit of 15 fish you guys go out and do some sea bass fishing on your own remember those limits man Limits are uh, 13 inches, and you allow 15 fish per person. And the season is closed October 1st through October 9th. Opens back up on October 10th, so keep that in mind. Then it goes all the way through uh, December 31st, and then opens again on May 15th if all goes like we planned for next year. But great trip. You can see the baits going off the back of the boat. That's why they're awful hungry, these dumb seagulls. But there you go, party boat fishing out of Ocean City, Maryland, man. This time of the year, it's going to be flounder, sea bass. You might see some bluefish as the water gets cooler. And then as we move into to, uh, December, we're going to start seeing more tall tog trips. And then after the first of the year, it'll be all tall tog until sometime in you know, April-ish when there might be some flounder inshore. But um, then we wait for sea bass season to open back up on May the 15th. But a great trip here on the angler today. Thanks to Captain Chris for having me along. If you guys want to find out how to get on board with any of the party boats here in Ocean City that are on the Fishing OC plan, it's fishingoc.com. Go to the inshore tab, go down to party boats, and you'll find all of them how to get in touch with them. Their rates are going to vary, trips are going to vary, size of the boat, capacity, all that thing varies. So head on over to fishingoc.com, inshore party boats, and find out more about it. And if you'd like to do a little bit smaller uh, crowd, you know, you want you got six people, 12 people, that kind of thing. We also have boats that do inshore charter fishing, right? Charter fishing where it's just you and your group. Same place, fishingoc.com, inshore tab, this time at charter boats. Um, really appreciate you guys flipping into the channel, man. We're gonna be bringing you as much as we can on the inshore fishing scene. Got some storms coming through this weekend. Looks like it's gonna blow a gale, um, but it might all be gone by the time this vid comes out. But Thank you all very much. Make sure you check out this TV show and more Hooked on OC over at youtube.com forward slash unseen pro. And if you'd like to get any of the tackle that we've got, uh, I was using our squidly today, did pretty well with it. That's over at deadly-tackle.com. And don't forget the social media, man. What would the world be without social media? We are iFishingOC on Instagram, FishingOC on Facebook. All the good stuff online at FishingOC.com. See you next vid. Lennox, out. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now we go.